Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at my Bushnell TRS-25. I want to share with you some of my experiences with their customer service because I'm pretty disappointed. I needed a red dot to put on my AR pistol. This optic reviews very well. Many people say it's the best red dot that you can get for the money. I paid $80 for it and I received it February 20th. Now, I took it to an indoor range. I sighted it in. It was fine. You know, I turned off the dot when I left. I'm very much aware of that. I've been in that situation where I left the dot on and later went to use use the dot and it was gone and whatever. So I, I turned it off. I later went to an outdoor range and within the first couple shots, the, the dot dimmed down very low. It started flickering and then it went dead. I figured it was a battery issue. This was the battery that was sent from Bushnell in the case and you know I was upset a little bit I was a little frustrated but I changed out the battery and it seemed fine but upon further inspection this is the problem that I am having see that front lens it is canted so much so that it is outside of the frame if I move my finger across this it actually sticks where that edge of the lens is right it is popping out of the frame I feel like if I drop this it'll literally pop out and I took a picture of this and I sent it to Bushnell and I said hey look there's something wrong with this because the lens is coming out of the frame <laughs> and um, the the secretary said she'd show a tech she showed the tech emailed me back and said that that's normal they said they intentionally can't it I understand that they intentionally can't it but I've looked at several others, and they do not look like this. Not even close. If you look at the, the pictures on the website, they have the lens nice and tight, right in the center of the frame. Nice snug fit. It looks perfect. It doesn't look like this. And so I called them, and I, I said, I want to talk to a tech this time. And very nice gentleman. I had a good conversation with him. He agreed that, you know, he said if, he, if you're not happy with it, send it in. We'll take a look. Yeah, thanks for getting back with me. I sent a picture in with a TRS-25 and the glass is very much canted. So much so that it looks like the edge of the glass is coming out of the frame. I sent that picture in and then um, I was in contact with Elizabeth and she had mentioned that the tech said that that was normal. they're not always right out to the edge but they're always canted right and i i can understand how you know that would be normal however this is canted so much so where the edge of the glass is coming out and if you check with elizabeth you'll see that i sent the picture in and i'm really confused why the text said that that was normal Well, they may not, she may not have elaborated that it was out to the edge. I don't know. I wasn't privy to the conversation between her and them. But but if you think it's out there too far, why I would send it back. It's got a warranty on it. All right. Are you going to send me a shipping label? You can, yeah. Okay. What's your name? My name's Dan. Okay. All right. Then I'll go ahead and send this in. Yeah, I will. And you just tell them, you know, it's, it's, I understand it's supposed to be tipped, but this is tipped farther than I think it should be, and it bothers me or whatever you want to say. I mean, we want you to be happy with it, so. All right. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Not a problem. You have a good day. Thanks. You too. Bushnell agreed to send me a label. It got delayed. You know, just little technical errors getting it to me and everything by a couple weeks, but that's okay. I get it. Everybody was working at home. Eventually, I got it, sent it into Bushnell. Took about a month. They got it back to me. And let's see, did they fix the lens? Nope. Still protruding out of the frame. They said it met specifications. That's confusing to me. Has the quality control diminished so much? that the specifications allow for a lens to
come out of the frame, protrude out of the frame. That I'm, I'm shocked by that, especially from a budget optic. Now, I understand that the, the market for budget optics have, has gotten really intense in the last couple of years. There are a lot of choices that people can use. You know, you don't need to get a TRS-25 anymore. There are other companies making red dots that are very good for under $100. This is disappointing. I think that uh you know they really dropped the ball on that also they said there was a dead battery or they said it was a faulty battery that's also confusing to me because that battery was brand new it had low hours that was actually the second battery and i only owned this for approximately a month and a half so how did it have a faulty battery already i know i didn't leave it on so what's the deal there it's it's disappointing i didn't get on here to rip on bushnell i was actually going to go after their elite tactical Red dot, that thing looks awesome. Not anymore. Not after this experience. When you have specifications telling me that that's okay, uh, in my eyes, that's not okay. And um, you know what? I won't put this on a firearm. I don't trust it. I think that that lens could pop out. I don't like the fact that it had a faulty battery when it had low hours and already had two batteries inserted into the optic. It's such an early lifespan. So... That's my experience with Bushnell. I, I own other Bushnell optics, but I have no intention of supporting the company any further after this negative experience with their customer service. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.